Alright. Ready for it? <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> yeah. I still have to rinse mine. Okay, go, I mean, go for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my line is not long enough. Oh boy. <laughs> How's that going to look on video? <laughs> My name is Joanna Tavares. I am a PhD candidate in the Mackey Lab in the Department of Earth System Science at the University of California, Irvine. What we're actually interested in is in looking at uh, the broader impacts that an oil spill can have, particularly for specific ecosystems like the coast of California. So we really don't know how an oil spill in this ecosystem with the organisms that live here will affect the whole food web, for example. Um, so it's really a, a tricky business, this one of, um, you know, deciding or, or not deciding, but determining how bad an oil spill is until you really have enough data of all these um, lingering effects and also broader effect, effects caused by an oil spill. So here we're going to collect some seawater samples that are going to be used for quantifying the microorganisms in the water. And we did that using a technique called flow cytometry. I grew up in Florida. And so we're able to quantify and identify some of the organisms using this technique. And now this sample goes into dry ice because it's very sensitive to um, temperature change. And it's ready to go. My name is Melissa Brock and I'm a PhD student in Adam Martini's lab in the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at University of California, Irvine. Our lab, the Martini lab, has a monitoring project at Newport Pier that we've been doing for 10 years. So we have a lot of baseline data for understanding what the bacterial communities were like before the oil spill. And so what we did was increase our sampling frequency from one time a week to three times a week so that we could really understand these short-term impacts of the oil. What we're specifically interested in is the very small phytoplankton, so primarily focused on understanding how the oil spill impacted the bacteria that is in the water here. So we're going to collect two liters of the seawater and then take that seawater back to the lab where we filter the water to concentrate and collect whatever bacteria was in the water. So first I'm going to um, rinse the, the collection bottles three times. And we're also going to be collecting samples to look at the carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus concentrations in the water. And the reason we're interested in that is because as oil petroleum products break down, it increases the amount of carbon that's in the water. And so that can change um, the geochemistry of the system, which may then impact the bacteria. 
We really hope that our findings will help answer those fundamental questions about how oil impacts the organisms off the California coast, but also maybe provide some broader insight into how oil spills affect these organisms across systems um, because oil spills unfortunately do happen quite frequently in the United States. There was a report um, that showed, that stated that in the U.S. alone over a million gallons of oil is spilled into waterways each year. So this is not an isolated event and these things will continue to happen so it's important to understand what, um, what response we're going to see. We right now have a collaboration with a professor at UCI, Christopher um, Olivares, uh, Professor Chris, Chris Olivares and his PhD student Jeling Dong. They are actually right now analyzing some of the samples that we've been collecting. Um, so we should, we will probably have this data in in a few weeks. And then the next step is for us, for Melissa and I, to then go into the lab and start analyzing the samples we've been collecting. So the work has been really intense. Uh, Melissa and I have been out here collecting three days a week and this was not part of our original schedules, you know, we're doing this on top of everything that we already do for work. And so um, it will take a couple of months for us to be able to really produce uh, the, the data reports the way that they need to be produced. But it will get done, <laughs> eventually it will get done.